in a minute. All right, get the jitters out. Gang. Welcome back to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. It has been a hot minute since I have sat in front of this camera to come and talk to you. I missed you guys. I'm trying to stay positive, keep myself positive, keep myself upbeat, as well as keeping you guys upbeat. Have you guys having something else to listen to other than what's on the news and on Facebook and Instagram and everywhere else that you look. So if you are here on our channel, we ain't going to be talking about that. Just go ahead and just we ain't gonna be talking about that but what we are gonna be talking about is this crochet wig yes honey i said crochet wig that i just created in the last 30 minutes and if you are new to our channel hello welcome how you doing i hope you are being safe but go ahead and subscribe to our channel sweetheart go ahead join the gang i know you want to be a part of our family we we would love to have you of course um, I'm gonna have to give y'all the deets on this because the beauty salons and um, hair salons being closed, a lot of us are kind of roughing it out here. I will say that I was one of them with, you know, everything being closed and kind of shut down. I just kind of just gave up on trying to look decent. I'm not even gonna lie. I just like in the past week or two decided to get my life together. I decided to bring you guys a quick crochet look that I created using some box braids. You can use Senegalese twists, any kind of braids. You could probably even use curls if you want to do an updo uh, for curls. But this updo, um, of course, you can wear it in a bun or a ponytail. I decided to do mine as a bun. The hair is really, really long. I just want to show y'all the hair real quick. So I bought the 30 inch. This is 30 inches long and it's uh, the two times open box braid. And I don't even recognize this brand. It's by Natural, but I love them. They they are very like good quality braids. Like a lot of crochet braids, they just be looking kind of skimpy. They have a lot of flyaways. Sometimes they don't close the ends right. Now these are open ended, so that means they're kind of feathered at the end. Matter of fact, here we go. I'll show you. So you have this nice quality braid, 30 inches long, and then at the end it's supposed to be open ended, meaning it has that nice feathered look and they tie, hand tied it off right there so it will not come undone and I'm gonna say that I, I love it. These cost me $10 so it was like $9.99 we're just gonna go ahead and say $10 so it was $10 per pack. I ended up purchasing five packs and I only used like four and a half and that all depends on how dense and you know how full you want your crochet wig to, to look. I'm pretty sure I probably could have gone away with four but I decided to buy five and I used a four and a half. And this is like overall, like this looks like some legit, I got my hair braided. Like I just got me some box braids. I have been a big fan of crochet wigs lately. They are so simple, they're so easy to make and I don't have to worry about sew-ins and needles and gluing and none of that. I just throw that sucker on and keep it moving. This is exactly what I wanted for this wig when I went to go make, when I went to go purchase my hair and my materials that I needed. So of course you'll need your crochet needle and all that good stuff. But 30 minutes, sweetheart, it took me 30 minutes to put this wig together and maybe 10 minutes just to put it on my head and that's just to situate it so i am wearing a scarf around it because of course you would see the band if you would not um so i did decide to accessorize it wearing a scarf and y'all know i love me some head wraps and i love wearing my head wraps during the summertime so i have no problems with it. now of course my head wraps are legit long this may be a little too long and it may be too thick for you to want if you want to wear this during the summertime. You can always opt out to buying one of those, you know, nice sheer headbands that you could purchase from Target or Walmart. Honey, go for it. Be creative. Add some studs, add some flowers, have fun with it. And we're gonna go ahead, wrap this all up, and get started with this tutorial.
for joining us. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this new wig. How, how would you wear your new crochet wig that you are now going to be making? I know it. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook as well as on Instagram and subscribe to our channel. We will see y'all on our next video since we are now back and posting weekly. Thank you guys. Be safe, be prosperous, and be blessed.